Good Tuesday morning. We are uh, out taking our last walk at this home. And uh, this morning it's nice. The winds are calm. Just a slight breeze. It was in, in the low 50s when we got up today. So it's pretty nice. It was a nice cool night. And uh, even though this area was burnt, yeah, we've enjoyed being here. It's got a different uh, flavor to it, that's for sure. I got my uh, problem solved. Oh, hey, and by the way, um, the other day, I guess about two days ago maybe, we went on up over that uh, rise there. We went up to the top and walked around up there a little bit and uh, just saw what it looked like up there. It was just grassy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> and, uh, I, but, oh, I was saying, um, I solved the problem of the 10 minute cutoff on the video. I found on Samsung's website, uh, under the Galaxy section, uh, there was a frequently asked questions and uh, apparently other people have asked the same question. You know, How do you uh, get rid of that limit? Well, it turns out that if you set your resolution to a full high definition, 60 frames per second or higher, it automatically limits it to 10 minutes. And that's what I had done. I had set it to the full high def at 60 to try to get a uh, sharper uh, picture because it seemed like my, uh, my videos were kind of uh, out of focus or grainy. And actually, I'm thinking that might be from somehow that uh, when it gets uploaded, they uh, convert the uh, the video to a compressed uh, format that doesn't give as good a resolution. So anyway, I brought it back down to just high definition. And uh, so the 10 minute limit should be gone now. I haven't tested it yet because I haven't had enough to say <laughs> to get over 10 minutes. But that's okay. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe today. Huh? We've still got a lot of the smoke. And... Uh, Apparently, some of this smoke is actually coming from the California fires. It's actually drifting over here from there. Those are some large fires and really kicking out. Uh, from what I can tell, the, the fires that are around this area in Montana aren't very large. So they, uh, they wouldn't probably be producing this much smoke. Anyways, yeah, here, let me uh, adjust. My hand's getting tired. Uh, you can see it's really, I mean, even here. You don't notice it close up, but when you look out in the distance, that smoky haze is everywhere. You know, the full time we've been here, and it's been over a week now. I have not seen very much wildlife. Mostly just birds. Saw one little snake. And actually I think it was like right along this area. It was out here sunning. And it was just a little, you know, bird or snake. It's, <laughs> it stayed there until I got too close. And then it went back in the uh, grass and that's it 
birds and a snake. Huh. Lots of grasshoppers. <laughs> There's a ton of grasshoppers. But they don't bother you at all. And when the fir first day I got here, flies bothered me. But then they disappeared. So I haven't ha actually had to worry about those either. I'm going to show you something down here. And I can't very well show it to you on the mountain on the other side there. Actually, it's, it's pretty visible if you didn't have the haze but the logging roads that have been cut through the mountain just in a back and forth pattern and uh, there was one right down here that I thought I'd show you if you can see that or not but yeah, let me see my coffee down Ugh. don't fall over okay right down here that is a logging road that's cut in and it comes over and I can't I, I can't tell if it goes further that way but you can see where the hillside's been cut out right there and that's actually what they do they just come in and they bulldoze a uh a section of the road out maybe you can see it a little better right there you can see how it's all open right through there so yeah that was the logging road I'm thinking that after we, we need to go down to Lolo and hit the post office and then uh, go into Missoula, resupply. And I'm thinking we might go to the Blue Mountain, which is Blue Mountain it would be over on that way. It's kind of like a little further northeast a uh, little closer actually to Missoula we'll see but there's a uh, oh, I was going to tell you uh, there's a lookout up on Blue Mountain Blue Mountain Lookout it's called <laughs> and uh I'm actually thinking we might uh, we might go up there and see if there's a good spot. And I don't believe that any of that is burned, so it should be a little, a little nicer. A uh, little more scenic and uh, give us some wind protection too, hopefully. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll probably end this here soon. We need to... Uh, turn around soon hey guys come on let's go back Co. come on let's go back come on Beethoven will eventually notice that nobody's walking with them come on come on Beethoven He's he's continuing on. He'll eventually turn around. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You know, those stinkers continuing on. Okay. This is when I sit my coffee down, go run after him. Hang on. Hey, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on.
You going on your walkabout? You've already been on one. <laughs> I can take another, huh, Dad? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's head back. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hey, bubs. Let me cover my coffee here. <laughs> okay. All right, we're cooking again. It's funny how after you've been someplace for a while, it just kind of feels so at ease and normal, you know, it's just, uh, it's homey. <laughs> I always have a little bit of a feeling when I'm leaving a place after being there for a while that, uh, you know, kind of little, I don't know the sadness, just, I don't know, some kind of feeling. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I just feel like uh, we're leaving. But then once we get back on the road again and find a new spot, all is well. Uh, I did some cutting there. I think what happened after the fire some of the trees that were not very stable or the ones that ended up getting, you know, they came in and cut them down. Especially ones that are by the road here because uh, they would be a problem if they fell and blocked the road. This is a tall guy. I'm 5'9", he must be about, oh, he's almost seven foot tall. There's a bee, enjoying a little bit of uh, nectar. A little bit of pollen, rather, I guess. Whole lot more buds on there to come out. These ones up here are pretty. Okay, we'll let you be. We won't bother you anymore. Okay, guys. Huh, they're already up around the corner, huh? Thanks for hanging out with me. Beethoven and Berkeley. My buddies. Yeah, I see Coda. And there's Elton. I think they're waiting for us. I think a lot of times they just went. Looks like they're going down over the hill. Wonder what they found. Yeah, yeah, they come back up. Uh, the sun actually feels good because it's kind of cool, but. Uh, Hopefully it stays a little cold today because I always worry about going into the uh, city and going into stores and, you know, having the guys in the van. Of course, I've got fans on in there, so it keeps the air moving through. But, uh, and I always try to park in the shade. Sometimes it's not possible, but... You know, if it's not, then a lot of times I'll just leave it run with the air conditioning on, lock it up.
but that's not a foolproof thing because uh, the boys will stand on the arms of the doors to look out and a lot of times they'll step on the uh, lock button and they'll unlock the doors or lock the doors so what I actually have done I've got uh, I've got two locks for the steering wheel. I've got one that uh, locks between the steering wheel and the brake pedal that does, it won't allow you to depress the brake pedal. And the other one locks onto the top of the steering wheel and has an extension that goes out over the dash so you can't turn the wheel at all. So between the two of those, uh, I don't think anybody would be able to steal it. But you know, if they, they they still might be able to get in the van. And although I think Coda is a big deterrent, although she's she's I don't know that she'd be aggressive towards anyone. She looks like she uh, could be. So we're we're banking on that that. Uh, Her looks keep us uh, safe. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a mixed bag there. You know, you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and uh, always make sure. And usually, you know, if I park in the shade with the fans on them, um, I have the windows down in the front, like about halfway at least, usually. So they got plenty of air coming through. And that, that roof fan, that really sucks some air through. So it really uh, helps. And since it's on the roof, it, you know, it's sucking out all the hot air pretty much. But it's still not the optimal situation, but we do as best as we can, right, Burke? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are, let's see, we're, we're almost to 18 minutes, so I better cut this short. It'll take forever to upload. Water in the plants, huh? Okay. Well, we enjoyed our time here. We've walked this road quite a bit because... Other than, you know, small excursions off into the uh, grassy areas. We've mainly done all our walks on this road. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. So from Mormon Peak in Lolo National Forest, coming to you live. It's the Coda, Beethoven, Elton, and Berkeley show. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. May not uh, get a video out later today or anything because uh, we'll be in town running around doing chores and such. But take care. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.